everyone, and welcome back to Liz Sews and my February sewing plans. Let's dive in. So my main plan for February is actually a project for the Minerva Makers. Uh, Minerva Makers has kind of been not functioning for the last year as the UK has been in and out of lockdown and quarantining. So it's finally up and running again and I got some new fabrics that I'm really, really excited about. So the first project is going to be a corset. So I really wanted to start getting into corsetry this year. I just think they're absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. Uh, and you know, I don't have any functional purpose for a corset. I just want one that's pretty. So when I saw that they had Cotille on their website as one of the possible fabrics that I could choose, I was really, really excited and picked it up. And of course, I did not spend a whole lot of time looking into what the fabric actually was. I knew, I mean, I knew Cotille, I knew Cotille was for corset making, but I didn't, I just assumed it was, you know, plain basic Cotille. And I was going to use it as a strength layer underneath some silk. But when it arrived in the mail, I was pleasantly surprised to find out it was satin Cotille. So it has this really nice um, satin sheen on it and still nice and sturdy and strong. It is a combination of rayon and cotton. So I think that the satin side is probably rayon and the strength portion of it is the cotton. So once I got it in the mail and saw the really pretty satiny sheen on it, I felt like it would be a waste to use this as a lining strength layer. And so I decided I just wanted to make um, a single layer under bust with this as the you know, fashion layer as well. I'm going to be using a free corset pattern and I will link it down in the description box below because I cannot remember the name of it at this particular time. So it's going to be a single layer corset with this. I am going to sort of do like a seam witching method with twill tape on the inside for the boning channels. So the seam allowance of the cutile will form the boning channels themselves. And then the twill tape just goes over top of it to cover up all the raw edges. And then I wanted to sort of bring in a little bit of color with it because pure white is not something that I would have much practical use for. And so I picked up this double face satin, double face satin ribbon um, in this really lovely baby blue color. And so I think this is going to be the lacings along the back of my bra. And then I'm going to go ahead and do flossing in that same baby blue color as well on the bra. And I think it'll look really, really sweet and pretty. Um, for the bust, I just chose in just this like nickel or silver um, plated busk and the same with the grommets is gonna go in there as well. It's gonna be silver. So really, really excited about this. This will be like my first corset in earnest. Um, I've dabbled in corsetry in the past, like just making cheap pretend ones for costumes, but this will be the first like real corset that I, I will have made. Um, planning on using spiral silk boning in this. So this is going to be the main project for the month. I'm really, really excited about it, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take. So I didn't want to be too overly ambitious with the rest of the projects that I have planned for February. Obviously, February being the month of Valentine's Day, I did want to bring out some pink items. So I want to work on uh, drafting my own block for like a swimsuit or bodysuit. I've been watching a lot of Emerald Erin's videos. I love all of the stuff that she does um, manipulating her swimsuit block. And so that's really something that is another 2021 goal for me is to have a swimsuit block finally made up. I'm thinking it should be fairly easy. I'm going to start, base, the basis of this is just going to be my bottoms um, block and then I just have to figure out the rest of the body up here uh, just measuring taking into account stretch percentage stuff like that and I think it should go pretty well so I have two different fabrics I'm not sure which ones I want to use to make a bodysuit this month with that block I have both of these came from Emerald Erin uh, so this really I cannot remember the name of it, this like electric pink, and then this softer sort of like icy pink. So one of these is gonna be made up this month using a self-drafted bodysuit slash swimsuit block pattern. So I'm looking forward to that. Let me know which one of these you like more and which one you would rather see made up. And then the next thing that I wanted to make this month is I do have a bra already made with this sort of burgundy and gold lace. Um, and I have two yards of this left over that I can go ahead and make a pair of bottoms to go with it. So I, uh, they'll probably be quite simple bottoms, but it's a stretch lace. It's relatively stable. Um, some of the laces can get a little bagged out, so they need to be lined with micromesh or something like that, but I think this one should be okay. So I just do want to make some bottoms to, to go with it, and I was thinking it still sort of fit into that color theme of February of this like deep, rich, beautiful, um, 
burgundy color. And then the last one I wanted to commit to this month is just this really lovely Studio Costura Shop kit um, utilizing this non-stretch lace in sort of like a nude colorway. I think I don't have a whole lot of very um, discreet bras. Most of my bras are brightly colored and fun because that's what I enjoy making. But I think it would be nice to have sort of a lacy bra that was also skin toned and, and a little bit more discreet and could be worn a lot under a lot more things. So I definitely wanna go ahead and make this one up this month. And then the sort of last thing I need to do is I started on a bra using this lace from Taylor Made. Uh, I started cutting out pieces and I just never got together, got myself together to make the bra. So I do wanna go ahead and finish this out. Originally I was thinking I wanted to do the Grace bra from Annie and Myra, but um, I decided in the end that I just wanted to do a darted one piece cup on this. So that's what I've cut out is a, this darted cup and you can see there's a little pinpoint there. So when I'm sewing the dart in place it is a curved dart and that's going to give you a much rounder shape on the on the bust uh, i think a lot of people would do a straight dart here and then that's going to get make it pointier but i'm going to do a curved dart and it, making sure that it ends all the way up here and that should give me a nice round appearance the dart will end above my apex and that's the best way to get the roundest appearance uh, and then i'm just going to line it in white sheer cup lining because i didn't have anything in my stash that looked particularly great with this color blue it's a little bit greeny a little bit more yellow in it than most of my blue tools so that's why i think i'm just going to go with white on there but i do want to go ahead and get this sewn up especially since most of it has been cut out uh, i just need to get around get an afternoon together so i can sew it so I hope you guys are excited about my sewing plans for the month of February. Let me know down in the comments below what you're most excited about and which velvet you think I should be using. And I will see everyone next time. Take care.